friends, it's Andrew from the blog Pine and Prospect Home and today I want to share eight different English cottage inspired decor elements that you can use in order to decorate your home for springtime. Now last year I did a post similar to this and I talked about thrifty ways you can decorate for spring but this year I'd really like to focus on um, decorating ideas that are English cottage inspired. So there's a lot of similarities between both of these posts. But, well hello! <laughs> He was due to wake up, but I thought maybe I could squeeze a video in before he did. I guess not. We'll see how he does. Anyways, um, there's some crossovers between this video and that one, and I'll put a card for you if you want to check that one out. But, um, but today I want to talk about some different ways, if you love that English cottage country style, um, I want to share some different ways that you can get your home ready for spring that kind of go along with that um, that de decorating style. So Isaiah's gonna join me apparently and um, I'm gonna go through them with you. So the very first item on my list, <laughs> gathering baskets. So when I say gathering baskets, I mean baskets that have handles on them. I love to use baskets in the springtime and fill them with flowers. I just love the uh, the beautiful texture of a basket against the soft beauty of a flower. I think it's one of the most beautiful English cottage inspired combinations. And I do this all over my home. I hang baskets on the walls. I've even used baskets on doors before. As you walk into my home, I'll have a basket hanging on my closet door and I like to fill it with flowers. Um, I also have a basket up above my fridge, an old, uh, I think it's like an old laundry basket, but I fill that with flowers in the springtime. And to me, it just looks like I took, you know, one of these baskets and I was walking through the countryside and gathering all these flowers up and I brought them home. And sometimes I do like to do that. I'll bring baskets outside when I clip fresh flowers. But um, whether or not you're using fresh or faux, I just think baskets in the spring are perfect for that, um, that beautiful English country style. The second item on my list that sort of goes along with baskets are sun hats or straw hats, I should say, straw hats. So obviously um, straw hats aren't generally worn in the winter time. Well, depending on where you live, I guess I should take that back. If you're somewhere really warm, maybe you wear them all year long. But here in Michigan, when it's snow and ice in the winter, we don't generally wear straw hats. We reserve those for gardening season and walking along the beaches in the summertime. And so for me, when I bring straw hats out, that's like, that means spring is coming and I love to hang them on the hooks in my entryway. Um, I love to put them on the pegs in my mudroom so that you can grab one on your way out the door. I've even hung them in my bedroom before and um, I've just seen them used in so many beautiful ways. They actually make beautiful wall art too. My friend Marin that I shared last year for my Share the Love series she once um, had straw hats all the way up her wall and they were absolutely stunning. So you can really get creative with them and I just think they are so beautiful um, in the springtime. The third item on my list um, in order to bring that springtime feel that also has sort of a country cottage vibe is to use watering cans. I love using watering cans in my springtime springtime decor. Um, obviously, if it's warm enough to be watering flowers, then that means, you know, spring is near and I will use them for um, decor, n not just for, you know, sitting in my entryway or whatever, just empty. Um, I think that is just as beautiful so you can pick it up and grab it as you walk out the door. Um, I love using them throughout my garden, but I think they also make beautiful vessels for flowers. Like if you're going to create a beautiful flower arrangement. I think that watering cans can be so lovely with flowers. In fact, I used some last year uh, whenever I did my lilac tour and I thought that lilacs just looked so beautiful in old watering cans. So I really love using those in the springtime as well and I think they're so, so beautiful. The fourth item on my list that has sort of that English cottage style that goes along with spring is to um, incorporate flowers 
and, and stems into your decor. Now, I kind of talked about this earlier this week if you wanna check out that video. Um, I just think that bringing some fresh greens into your home instantly creates uh, life. It just brings life into your home. If you're ever looking at a spot in your home and you're thinking, it feels kind of dead, what is missing? Try adding some stems, some greenery, some flowers. You'll be amazed at what it can do. So in the springtime, I just think it's absolutely um, a must have. And obviously I love fresh flowers, I love fresh stems, but if you need to use faux, because there's still patches of snow and ice outside, like there are here, I have some tips for you in order to make faux flowers look a little bit more real. So I'll link that video for you if you wanna check it out. But I love bringing in um, fresh or faux stems into my home at springtime. And speaking of flowers and stems, number five on my list for English country cottage style is to incorporate um, various garden items into your decor. So I guess watering cans could have gone along with this one, but there are so many fun things that I see at antique stores that I think, oh my goodness, that would make the best um, wall art or decor. So some examples for you. Old um, garden rakes and tools sometimes look so beautiful on the wall. Maybe I'll pull him out of here. Um, I've even seen some really neat vintage signage that um, like an old sign that says uh, seeds for sale or flowers, five cents a bundle, things like that can make the prettiest springtime decor. I can't help but think about this really cool vintage wooden crate that I found antique shopping like three summers ago and it had this really beautiful turned handle. And when I was purchasing it, the guy at the antique store, <laughs> the guy at the antique store said that it came from an old, a local um, flower market or farm. It was so beautiful and I love that. Uh, I love that crate still to this day. It makes a wonderful centerpiece for your table in the springtime. So look for various garden items that you can use throughout your home in the spring. Next on my list is galvanized metal. Anything galvanized in the springtime to me just, I don't know. It, it just says springtime to me, and I love to bring it inside the house. Old buckets and pails. I've used an old minnow bucket before for a flower arrangement on my coffee table. I love filling old buckets with fresh flowers in the spring. <laughs> Um, I actually drill holes in the bottom of galvanized pails and use them for planters in the springtime. You know, the holes are for drainage and I plant herbs and flowers in my garden in the springtime and, and I use them on my uh, pea gravel patio. You can see some there. I'll put a link to uh, that video if you wanna watch it. But because I use them often outdoors for my garden area, I think they also are just as beautiful inside the house um, with flowers. And um, to me, they just say English country cottage when you have, you know, this beautiful rustic table with a simple galvanized pail filled with flowers. To me, that's just so beautiful. Another item to consider whenever you're decorating for springtime is to uh, switch out all of your heavy throws and blankets and pillow covers for something more lightweight. Um, so think about your linens. Maybe you have some heavy like uh, knitted pillow covers or thick blankets on your couch because they're so cozy in the wintertime. But switch those out in the spring to something that's maybe a little um, lighter, a little more airy, and I think that's a great way. Um, I love to have layers in my living room, but I think just by switching them out to something a little bit more lightweight, that just gives that spring feel. Like you don't need those heavy throws and blankets anymore. It's springtime. You could even cut back on like your pillows and, and the layers that you have in your living room space. I think that would be a great way too to just sort of simplify and usher in the spring. The last spring time decorating idea that I have for you guys today is to incorporate vintage artwork. And if you caught my unofficial home tour that I shared with you last week, I'm still kind of tweaking and working on my living and dining room space since we refinished our floors. I have been loving vintage artwork and I incorporated some into my living room. And I just think it's a great way um, to bring color into your home. Uh, you can find the most beautiful landscape 
uh, paintings with you know flowers and fields and to me I think that's just a great way to bring springtime into your home especially if you use an old vintage frame nothing that looks too new or modern um, I really think that that helps to incorporate sort of that country um, English country style so I hope some of these ideas inspired you today. I hope they gave you some inspiration. I would love to know from you guys, how do you like to decorate for spring? What do you do whenever you switch things over from wintertime to springtime decor? Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. I love reading through your comments. Let me know. <laughs> and um, maybe we can help to inspire each other. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today. <laughs> I'm sorry that Isaiah had to join us, but from what I've been reading in the comments lately, you guys really enjoy having him in videos, as long as he's not too loud and fussy. <laughs> you sweet boy. Can you smile? Can you smile? Can you smile for the camera? Well, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you're new here, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.